Louboutin, 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 Collection. Hey guys, thank you for being with me. Today I'm gonna show you my entire insane Louboutin collection, or Louboutin, however you say it, Christian Louboutin, collection. I have been acquiring these shoes for quite a few years now, and I thought, why not make a video on my entire collection? I mean, I feel like you guys love these kinds of videos, so, I wanna give you what you want. Uh, first of all, I just wanna let you know I am a fashion and style vlogger, blogger, and I am really active on social media, especially Instagram, where I show all my outfits and all the events that I go to, and I would love to have you with me. I have shoes in all over my house. I don't keep most of the boxes of the shoes that I buy. Usually I toss them in the recycling. They just take up a lot of space and I don't like baby my things. Yes, if you're thinking about resale, it's good to keep the boxes, but I just don't have the space. My closet is already exploding. I have a full walk-in closet to myself. I don't even let allow my husband to share it with me. <laughs> Okay, let's get started, and these are in no particular order. I'm just going to show you the shoes in the order that I took them out. I don't know what you call these, like gladiator, like heel lace-ups. I don't know how high the heel is, but I can tell you that these are from, I don't know, like years ago, like 2008, when I just started to get into really buying more and more designer pieces and incorporating them into my closet. These are the lace-up gladiator, Lubes again don't know the exact name i think they're amazing next up i have these gorgeous booties and these are like so stunning these are ankle booties i'm not sure the heel height i'd say like about four inches um three and a half two three i i don't know um these are so gorgeous they're like a pleated leather and a perfect almond toe just perfect i mean not pointy not round absolutely stunning i love these i think they're so classy so chic and uh, there's not much more i can say just like one of my absolute favorite styles of lubes i mean what are these called these are what are these called they're not the pigal the so kates they're called so kates these are like beautiful these are just gorgeous i mean like pointy toe perfect gorgeous nude shade the the louboutin louboutin the lube nude it's actually it's it's not my favorite shade of nude i think like jimmy choo makes the most gorgeous shade of nude but it's still beautiful it's more like a tan nude and it's still definitely neutral and works with everything these are just so classy and chic and stylish and fashionable like these are just sharp i absolutely love them these were my first pair every single pair of lubes kill me they are the most uncomfortable shoes like if anyone tells you they're comfortable they're lying they're awful but they're stunning and fashion is beauty so whatever i'm always suffering every time i go out i'm probably suffering unless i you know now I'm just always suffering. Anyways, so these I got, these are patent with a, like this gorgeous bow. These are super old school, but I like, like how beautiful are they? Like there's, there's, it's a stiletto. It's like about a three and a half inch, four inch heel, three and a half, I don't know. Um, like they're dainty, they're classic, they're peep toe, I mean, like they are still so relevant in style and fashion. Next we have the Biancas. These are amazing sky high perfection. These are a um, almond toe as well with a platform. 
Um, I love these shoes. I still love them. These are a few years old, like more than a few, maybe four or five years old. And like they're not so crazy cutting edge in style right now, but I still absolutely love them. I think they look amazing still. Like, uh, do I gravitate to them as much when I want to look absolutely bomb? No, but uh, you know, they're still definitely hot and stylish and I'm going to keep them because for a lube, they're actually kind of okay to wear. They don't kill my feet. They're not comfortable, but they're more comfortable than other lubes. And I just think they're awesome. Next are these insanely high, uh, royal blue and they look purple in some lighting, but they're like royal blue like a dark royal, like stunning like this. This color with the red is just absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, these, I, I don't think these are the daffodils. They're called something else. If you know what these are called, you can leave them in the comments. They are definitely as high as the daffodils, exact same height as the daffodils, exact same platform, but it's a thicker, chunkier heel. Um, and I think they're called something else. So when I wear these, I don't wear a short skirt with them. I don't wear a crop top crazy revealing outfit with them. You gotta know when to tone down your outfit when you're wearing like a statement crazy shoe like this because this is going to be noticed. So you gotta tone down the rest and keep it classy. I know these look familiar to you because I just showed you a very similar boot right here. <laughs> I mean, I obviously have issues, guys. Like, what can I tell you? This is like a sleek, beautiful booty for every day. And this is just extremely crazy and eccentric. But again, I know how to rock it. And I rock it with style. I'm going to pull up a photo of when I wore these. And I thought my outfit was absolutely banging. Um, these are so high and super like scary to walk in. I mean, like these are definitely dangerous. I'm not going to lie. I'm telling you the truth. I definitely almost fall once or twice a night in these. And I do try and stay seated most of the time. These are so high. Again, I think these are like 160 millimeters, but I don't know if that's accurate. So next up are my beautiful sparkly. I have no idea what these are called as well. I would love to sell these because I never wear them. I've worn them once in my life and that was my wedding day. But I'm not going to sell them because they are my wedding shoe and my husband actually bought these for me. Like I have a sentimental attachment to these. You can see I, they were worn once. I mean you can see by the bottoms. I don't know. I just think the style of the shoe. It's just not not my fave. Anyways, that's that. Okay. These are one of my favorite pairs of lubes. I absolutely love these. These are suede Mary Jane concealed slight platform with about a four to four and a half inch heel. These are stunning slingbacks. I love these. Like, I mean, are you guys serious? Yes. So gorge. I love these. I literally wear these when I just, you know, like it takes a special outfit for me to wear. These are gorgeous and these remain one of my faves. Next up, another pair of the Biancas in nude again. Um, the other ones are cork and these are just a patent nude. This cork is kind of patent too. It's really cool, actually. Um, and these are just a smooth patent. You know how I feel about the Biancas, exact same as what I said about the cork ones. They are super gorgeous and they're not so hot right now, but I still love them and I'm not getting rid of them anytime soon. Next, I have once again the So Kate's in black. Could you just 
die. These are so stunning and gorgeous and classic. And by the way, these are the lowest price point when it comes to lubes. I remember when these were like 600 bucks, like when they first came out, they were so cheap, but you couldn't get a pair because they were at the entry level price point. They just flew out. And it's crazy that they are one of the cheaper pairs because they are one of, they are the most beautiful pair. They are just so stunning. And when you wear them, you get a little toe cleavage. It's just, ugh, I just can't. These are so classy, super sophisticated, sexy, edgy. They're everything. They're everything. They really are. Ugh, what are these called? Oh, I used to remember what these are called and now I totally forget. These are just crazy. These are not like so stunning, let's be real. I just really wanted them for the height. They are like platform meets wedge. They're like identity crisis lubes. Um, I didn't try them on because uh, they look hideous with skinny jeans, but I will show you a photo um, of me wearing them with an outfit. And I usually wear these under a big wide leg or bell bottom jean because I really needed them for the height and you know, like a big, super tall wedge is perfect for wide leg or bell bottom jeans. And I think these were on sale or something like that. And that's why I bought them for that purpose. Next up, I have the daffodils. So these are for sure the daffodils. They have the kind of, you know, stiletto heel with the huge, humongous um, concealed platform. These are sky high. If you have style, and you have, you know, a vision. You don't have to look trashy when you wear these. You don't have to wear booty shorts or a short skirt or a small teeny tiny dress when you wear stuff like this. You can really stylize a crazy shoe like this and still look super edgy and cool without looking trashy. I love this um, crazy turquoise color. I remember exactly what I was doing when I bought these. I went to Barney's in Beverly Hills on Rodeo or at the end of Rodeo there. And I remember it was a few years ago back, uh, like more than a few years ago, but I remember I saw Pete Wentz there and he was buying something and it was just like when he broke up with Ashley Simpson and he was with like some model looking chick and I was just like, oh, that's cool. I remember like walking around him when I was trying these on, I was like walking to find a mirror and he was just like kind of standing there with this girl, so. Funny story about those. Okay, literally, I just feel like I need a moment of silence for these shoes, boots. These are so freaking bomb, so freaking gorge. I cannot deal, these are stunning. I absolutely love them. These are lace up. What I don't love is that they're damaged and Louis, Louis Vuitton. I was going to say Louis Vuitton. I don't even really own Louis Vuitton. Um, and um, Louis Vuitton, when I went to the boutique in Toronto, would not take these and fix them for me. Okay? So, any staff or head office people from Louis Vuitton, if you're watching this, that is just so uncool. Like, you got to tell your Toronto store to get it together. That's just unacceptable. These boots are the freaking bomb. I was wearing them and I was and they were laced up and I was walking and the hook, this hook, got caught on the lace of this. So I first of all went flying and second of all, this hook just came right out. I took these to the lube store in Toronto and they're like, yeah, we don't really take care of that stuff for you because you didn't buy them at our store. So if you're the only Louboutin boutique in Toronto, and there's no other Louboutin representation in this city, where else would I take them? Where else would I take them? Where else? Where else? Where? Like, it just makes absolutely no sense. I'm not flying back to New York to have these fixed. Like, get it together, Louboutin. Get it together. One of my most uncomfortable pairs of lubes, but I absolutely love them, and you know pain is suffering or no, suffering and pain is fashion, style, beauty. Pain is beauty, beauty is pain. These are, these just 
I don't know what it is, the right foot, but they're stunning. They're just like, they're pony hair, um, leopard print. I love that they're lace up. I love that they're a peep toe. I feel like I could wear them into fall, spring, summer. Um, and I think they're absolutely perfect and beautiful. They just don't feel good when I wear them. Next up, my beautiful cognac colored booties with the chunk heel. I'm sorry. I mean, these are so freaking stunning. I cannot, they're so classy. They are so gorgeous. They look amazing with dark blue jeans, light blue jeans, black, all black. I mean, these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love them. They are a smooth leather. So when I wear these, I'm like extremely careful because I see super duper duper love them and like they're literally one of my faves and I want to keep them forever so I don't want the leather to get all scratched up and gross so I really try to take really good care of these and I just love them. Second last, my, okay, these I got in Vegas with my husband. Again, I totally forget what these are called. At the time they were like the hottest pair of lubes, slingback, um, like a double platform situation. Um, I haven't worn these in so many years, but I still keep them because they're just great to have. They're definitely still cool to wear. They're not like outdated. So, a little dusty. Anyways, those are them. Girl, I have no idea what these are called. I keep saying, I am so sorry. If you came to get educated on lube shoes, this is not the right place. I, Cause I don't know anything. I just know what I love. Are incroyable, beautiful Louboutin knee boots. Um, they're oh, I think actually they're a Bianca. They look just like a Bianca. I think it's a Bianca knee boot. Am I right? If you know the styles and the names of all these shoes, please please feel free to put it in the comments below because I would really appreciate that and so would some of the people watching that don't know either. Guys, thank you so much for being with me. I hope you enjoyed my ludicrous, insane, ridiculous Louboutin collection. If there's other things you'd like to see and other video topics you'd love for me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I do videos two to three times a week and I'd love to have you with me. All right, until next time, bye for now.